And Henry just came in and was like, uh, so about breakfast. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna make breakfast. I'm making us a nice egg scramble. Oh, what is this? Making us a nice egg scramble. Yes, I did. Make, making a nice egg scramble and some hash brown. It's gonna be bomb. Henry is working from home today, getting on my nerves. He better get out of my face before he might, to work. before he not to eat today, to you to work. before he not eat today. But yeah, y'all, it's going to be a very, um, boring day. I, I don't want to use the term boring. I decided to make a frittata instead. So I got some turkey bacon, some, um, what is it called? Green peppers, red peppers, and onions. And underneath is the egg. And instead of baking it like you would traditionally break, bake a frittata, I'm just gonna flip it over and basically make it like an omelet and add some cheese. And the hash browns are already done. They are just keeping warm in the oven right now. finished product right here so i'm about to give henry his plate and then we about to grub y'all it is such a slow day today i have absolutely no errands to run well there are some errands that i could run but i just ran out yesterday and i do not like like constantly going out especially since it's the holiday time and a lot of people on the road and stuff like that it's just not my thing i'd rather stay in the house so i don't really have any errands to run um and i'm just really just like bothering henry while he works yeah so it's really just a slow day today so we're not really doing anything i could go to target i need some gingerbread houses definitely want to do like a husband versus wife gingerbread making challenge I actually should actually go pick that up um yeah it's boring so it's about 3 30 now and i'm making lunch for us i'm gonna make um a tuna melt for me and just a regular tuna sandwich for henry and we're gonna have some chips with it so i'm gonna show you how i make my tuna fish grab some mustard and some mayo I usually add boiled eggs to my tuna fish, but I just ran out this morning without breakfast, so I don't have any, and I'm sad because I really love eggs in my tuna fish. So I already crumbled up the tuna, broke it up, and I just drained it from all the liquid that was on there. Now I'm gonna season it with some cracked back black pepper. And 
some seasonal. Y'all, don't judge me. I've been in my PJs all day. Some seasonal, not too much. And then let me get a spoon. I'm also going to do some Grey Poupon mustard. I love Grey Poupon. You guys know if you watch Cooking with Lawn, I use it in a lot of my recipes. Just like a tablespoon of that. I'm going to do like, this is probably like two tablespoons of mayo. Then I'm going to just mix all this up. Do you guys like relish in your tuna fish? Let me know. Comment down below. I am not a relish person. I don't like um, sweet tuna fish. But I know some people love sweet tuna fish. Um, I think Henry liked relish when, when we first met. But because I don't make it like that, he just grew to love it like this. Kind of like it kind of dry like this. Let me taste it. I can use a little bit more pepper. So this is the bread that I'm using. It's new, it's by Sarah Lee. Let me turn it around. It's like the artesian bread and this bread is so soft and so delicious. It was very pricey, um, but I think it's worth it. And now that I purchased it for a higher price, I'm starting to see it on sale at the store, so. Whatever, make sure y'all get a coupon or something like that because I think this bread was like $5, but it was really good. So I'm just putting Henry's bread in the toaster. I'm gonna just put this on like two and let that go. And I'm gonna get started on my tuna melt. I'm gonna just put the bun right in the pan and put the bun, the inside down so that it can kind of sop up some of that butter and just kind of toast a little bit. Put this on here. Cut this in half. Like so. Put some chips on the side. So here's base lunch, a tuna fish sandwich. The bread is toasted with some chips. So for my tuna melt, I put some cheddar cheese on top of the bun. I turned it back over and I got the lid on so that the cheese melts. Otherwise, if I just put the tuna fish on top of um, the cheese and the tuna fish is kind of like room temperature. I don't know why it's so dark. And the tuna fish is kind of like room temperature. The cheese may never really melt. So I give that time to melt before I put the tuna fish on top and finish the rest of the sandwich. So I have the other half of the bun toasted now, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put tuna fish on this side, and as you can see, the cheese is nice and melted. So mine basically looks the same as Henry's. You can't even tell that it has cheese on it. Um, but yeah, that's all tuna melt really is. It's just like cheese and it's kind of like a hot sandwich almost a little bit. I don't like the tuna hot. So now I got this. I got a bottle of water and I'm about to eat my lunch and catch up on some YouTube. So guys, I think I'm about to end this vlog because we're not doing anything. We didn't do anything today. I didn't have any errands to run and stuff like that. So I'm really, really sorry that it wasn't as interesting as other vlogs are. Um, but I still wanted to post it because I just want to show, you know, it is Vlogmas 1. So I want to post every day. But then I also want to show the reality, you know, of being a YouTuber. Like sometimes our days just aren't you know always entertaining we're not always doing something we're not always going out and stuff like that so i just wanted to show that i definitely want to do some fun things this weekend i definitely want to go ice skating go see like some christmas lights um so we're definitely going to do some more christmas related stuff this weekend today was just like a little like a funky day it wasn't 
didn't do anything but yeah anyway um concluding this video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure that you give this video a huge like and subscribe to our channel if you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed and also don't forget our um instagram handles are always in the corner of our videos so follow us on instagram because most of the time you'll see like firsthand what videos we're uploading you'll get a lot of um information first on instagram before we actually post it on youtube so just to stay up to date so yeah that concludes this video guys thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow peace